How do I get a vending machine? How do I secure a location? How, 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 how? So we are gonna get into those things in this video. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Y'all already know who it is, or you should know who it is, the CEO of Ice Tasty Nine back with another video. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? And if you're not new, welcome back y'all. So your girl's actually about to be outside, but while I had a little time, I had a list of videos to record. So I said, let me come and record this how to get into the vending machine business video. So if you're new here, I am the CEO of iTasty. I do currently have five vending machines. They are in different states. So I get people that email me and DM me on the daily. How do I get a vending machine? How do I secure a location? How, 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 how? So we're going to get into those things in this video. If you have not already, please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. So first things first, vending machines is probably the easiest ways that you can make passive income. It is a process because it's more of an investment versus, you know, Starting a lash business, for example, I do help people start lash businesses, cosmetic businesses. I am a U.S. wholesaler. But when you're starting a lash business, if you're, uh, you know, starting it with me, you don't have to spend hundreds and thousands. I have affordable bundles to where you're not having to break the bank. But when it does come to a vending machine, it's one of those things where you see the benefits long, like, you know, further down the line. So you definitely have to trust the process. OK, vending machines are very, very expensive. If you are buying a brand new vending machine, I don't know how much used vending machines run for, but if you are buying a brand new vending machine, my vending machines cost 3000 up. Okay, so cost does vary. I do get discounts now because I do have multiple machines. So I've been working with my vendor since 2021. So now when I purchase, I'm not, you know, paying as much as a brand new person would pay. And when it does come to purchasing a used vending machine, you do have to keep in mind that you don't know why this person is selling their vending machine and you may have to customize this vending machine. If you are putting your vending machine in a mall location or wherever you're putting your machine, you have to have it wrapped. Now, other locations, they might not care, but specifically for mall locations, your machine does have to be wrapped. But at the end of the day, I would recommend that you wrap it regardless, even if you're not going to put your machine in a mall because... This vending machine needs to not only bring you money, it needs to also serve marketing purposes. Like my vending machines, not only are there, the, not only is it there to, you know, make me sales, it's also there to spread the word of my business. So you want to make sure that you wrap your, you know, you wrap your machine in something that's going to stand out. You want to make sure you have a barcode on there that links to your website, your Instagram page. So anybody seeing it, even if they don't shop, they can still reach, you know, you can still reach people. Okay. So like I said, it, it is more cost associated with it and it does take time because of course, once you put the vending machine there, you might not get a sale, you might not, you might have technical difficulties. Like with me, I put my first location this January, January 12th was when I first secured my first location and I took it to the mall. And guess what, you guys? I didn't follow instructions and my card reader was not working. So if you do decide to get your vending machine through my vendor, make sure y'all follow what she says, okay? <laughs> Because with my vendor, she uses a app called Momo Nyax, and that's basically how I see how many sales I get every day and stuff. And she told me to sign up, you know, to put my information because it does have to be linked to your business bank account. So I didn't do all of this. And when I finally took my machine to the location, it was still accepting cash, but it could not take card because my card reader was not connected to my bank account so if you do go you going through my vendor make sure that you sign up and have everything done so that way when you get your machine you don't have no technical it's not really a technical difficulty but i was you know it kind of you know hindered me from getting card sales because my card reader was not working and i had to have a sign it was just ghetto absolutely not so first things first when it comes to getting a vending machine you need a location it's not just about getting a vending machine anybody can go get a vending machine okay anybody can order a vending machine but you need to have a location if you don't have a location you're gonna end up spending way more money than you need to because if you don't have a location and you're not living in a house if you do live in a house you can easily put your vending machine in your garage which is what i did my vending machine was literally sitting in my parents garage from 2021 up until this year and that machine did not go in a location until march so for almost two years that vending machine sat i'm gonna insert a clip of it right here 
This vending machine sat in my parents' garage for almost two years, you guys. So if you do live in a house, you can easily have it in your garage for when you're ready. So it's just boom. But you also want to keep in mind as far as the transportation part of it, as far as how are you going to get this out your garage? Because y'all, let me tell y'all, the struggle. Literally, I had to call a friend to help me and my brother. We literally had to carry the machine in there. And then when we got it out, like we had to use all these different tools. It was, it was just a hot mess. But... Of course, we could have paid somebody, but just no paying. Most places, the minimum is 500. That's another expense. Okay, so I'm, I'm telling y'all the mistakes I made so y'all don't make my mistakes. But location is key. Location is probably going to be the hardest part is the location. But once you've secured your location, it's nothing to order the machine, okay? When it comes to ordering the machine, my personal vendor is available for purchase on my website. So if you do need a vendor, you can find vendors from all different kinds of places. You can probably even find a vendor on, not a vendor, but a vending machine place to purchase if you're buying a used one from Facebook Marketplace. There are so many places. People act like you can't find places to purchase vending machines. My personal vendor is for sale because people want my personal plug. And I spent over $25,000 on all of my machines. I have five. So if you want the person that I took the time to research, I found my vendor back in 2021 while I was still in school, still working my nine to five, still out here hustling with my business. It's not for free. <laughs> it's not for free. You can go on Google. You can go on AliExpress. You can go on Alibaba. You can find your own vendor for free. But vending machines are a huge risk. You are spending thousands of dollars. So please make sure that you do proper research before you hand over your money to somebody. With my vendor, you do have to pay a 50% deposit. So you first pay the 50% deposit once you approve the mock-up and then she will start the production. And once the machine is completed, you will pay the balance of the 50%. So now I'm going to get into the cost. So many people ask how much, how much, how much are vending machines? You guys, the cost of vending machines depend on so many different factors. Like I said, I'm at the place now where I'm not going to pay the same price I was paying two years ago because I've worked with my vendor since 2021. She even just gave me hundreds of dollars of discount for my next machine. And y'all, I'm like, hold up. I just wanted five machines. She's trying to get me to purchase a sixth. <laughs> She's trying to get me to purchase a sixth machine. So y'all, a sixth machine definitely will be coming because I'm not going to miss out on these discount opportunities. So I do need to find a fifth and sixth location for my vending machine. So stay tuned for those locations, you guys. But um, when it comes to the cost of a vending machine, you guys, the cost depends on so many different things. What size of machine you are getting, the customizing. Now, if you are getting a card reader and a cash, that is extra. If you're just getting cash, like so that's also, you know, another cost associated with it. My vendor does have the design included in it because I know people always ask that, like, does your vendor include the design? She ships everywhere, door-to-door -door shipping, no matter where you stay. So when it really comes to the cost of it, you have to re reach out to a supplier and let them know what you want, what you're looking for to be able to be given an exact quote. But just know it's going to cost thousands if you are purchasing brand new. It's going to cost thousands, okay? But for the exact number, it depends on what kind of machine, what size you're getting, um, what all, you know, the customizing that you're doing, that's really when the, the cost, you know, adds up. Just like if you're buying a brand new car and you want heated seats and all these things, that's when, you know, the cost gets added up. Now, as far as securing a location and all of these other things, you guys, I do have a series on my website. It is a video series. There's currently four parts up. I talk about how to secure a location, all you need to know as far as the business bank account, LLC, COI, everything is discussed in my series. If you are purchasing my series, make sure that you copy and paste the link into a new web browser. It's a four part video series. Part five will be up when I secure my fifth location. And when I do get my sixth location, I will have that part six up as well. You are free to comment any vending, you know, vending machine related questions on these videos. So once you've watched all four parts, if you have any other questions for me, be sure to comment them. Let me know what y'all want to see in the next part. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the vending machine business. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not already. Definitely follow my journey on Instagram. I have machines in Jersey, in Texas, and in Delaware. So if you live in any of those states, definitely check my machines out and be sure to tag me. And I will see y'all on the next video. Bye!